Hi, and welcome to SIM Local. We're going to show you how to activate your travel eSIM on your iPhone. Once you purchase an eSIM in the SIM Local app, you'll then be given two options. You can either download your plan automatically or choose a QR code if you are buying it for someone else. If you choose the QR code, you'll need a second device to scan it. To keep things simple, we recommend you simply tap Download Plan. You should only do this near the time of travel, as your plan will start from the moment it's activated. Once you're asked to activate your new eSIM, tap Allow, and then Continue. Your screen will then say Connecting to Network. This part can take a couple of minutes, but once it's done, it'll either say Mobile Plan Setup Complete or Cellular Plan Setup Complete. Next, you'll need to select your default line. To do this, select the option that isn't named Primary. This is usually called Secondary or Travel. Once that's done, you'll be asked about your iMessage and FaceTime preferences. Make sure you select Primary to keep these on. Then, in your mobile data settings, make sure you select Secondary to allow data to be used on your eSIM. Finally, let's make sure that Allow Mobile Data Switching is turned off. Great, we're nearly done. Now, we need to rename your eSIM so that it's easy to find later. Go to Settings, select Mobile Service or Cellular Service and, under SIMs, tap on your new eSIM. Next, tap Mobile Plan Label and, under Custom Label, change the name of your eSIM. We recommend calling it SIM Local or naming it after the country you're planning to visit. Once that's done, return to Secondary and toggle Data Roaming on. And that's it. You've successfully installed and activated your new SIM Local eSIM like a pro.